Hello fellow monsters, Sticker Monster here and welcome to a game called An Interview. From what I was reading, it's like about a 5, maybe 10 minute game. I don't think it's that long, but it's just a short little game, but it looked interesting and I thought I would share it with you guys. So let's go right in. How do I play this? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you tell me or us a little bit about your childhood? <laughs> Alright, um... I grew up in uh, quite a big family. Um, we grew up in a nice little village. There was no stress, just a pub, a school, a shop, that was it. Um, quite a conventional family, really. Mum and Dad together, happy. Dad went to work every day. It was a strong sort of typical man. At the weekends, he would build build houses, it would build my, our house that we lived in. Yeah. So it was always doing something physical, yeah. Depression ever, was that ever mentioned? No, never. Didn't have a clue what it meant. Huh. Is there... There's not, okay. Uh, play football. Okay, I was hoping there were subtitles, but there's not. Well, okay, what are you? Your butt is really high up in the air. I was around 23, 24, can't, can't exactly remember when, but I, something changed completely in me. I was really tired all the time. I just woke up different. Yeah. Um, I, I, I didn't want to hang around with my mates anymore. I didn't want to do things I loved doing, like playing football and seeing friends. Um, I just thought, I'm. I, I'm tired, and that's basically it. I just need to deal with it myself. I wouldn't even dreamed of going to the doctors. Deal with it. Ah, oh, that's not good. That's not good. You don't just sit there and deal with it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ew. Um, and then it just got worse and worse as the days went on and I just could not sleep at all. Uh, I was up thinking about random stuff like, like why are we all here and uh, what's the point of it? Like, we all die in the end anyway, so what's the point of all these relationships that you keep and all the people that you love are just going to disappear one day? Um, Well, that took a very serious, very, very serious turn. What do I click? Okay. Well, this is not what I was expecting for the game, so... It's pretty there cool, was, though. There um, was a tree when I was a kid that I used to play at, and I used to stop there for, like, 20 minutes or so, just staring at it, and um, images of myself were just popping into my head of me hanging there. I wasn't really shocked and I wasn't scared. I was just, I'd just get upset and I'd cry because I, because I was having those thoughts. And I'd go home and think about where I'd get the rope from and I would do it. Uh, I just, I just thought uh, it, it popped into my head, and I guess, I guess it was something telling me that it was a way out if I wanted it. Until like I was so tired and so upset, and just so sad that I didn't know what was going on. I basically had a had a breakdown in front of the family one evening at the dinner table, and uh, and my mum said, "Right, enough's enough," and she took me to the doctors and. I just sat there, like, with a head full of muddled thoughts and confusion and just asking them, just asking them to try and make me feel better. Um, and I was, I, I was, I was ashamed because I thought, I thought at that moment that there's no way I'd tell another living soul because I did believe it made me less of a man. 
And then if you're a uh, Synthespian project by Manos, based on the play Fake It Till You Make It by, okay. Special Thanks, okay, it's all that normal stuff. Okay, so I wasn't expecting it to be like that, but since we're already on the case, and I've heard, I know you guys have heard me ramble about this before, but mental illnesses are very, very serious things. And a lot of people tend to forget that your brain is still an organ. It it still functions like the rest of your body does. So it's just like, okay, I don't even know how to explain it right now. Like, your brain is going to have issues, you know, unless you take the necessary precautions and stuff like that. And even then, it's not even guaranteed. But anxiety, depression, schizophrenia, paranoia, it all comes down to the fact that your brain can get sick. And it's sad that society has this stigma of, oh, well, just, you'll get over it. You're just sad. You're just sad. Or depression, you know, you'll get, no. It's not how, it's not how that works. Um... As somebody who was actually diagnosed with depression and everything, it's basically a matter of yourself. And I hate to say that, but I mean, I, from what he said, I've, I've felt that way countless times. I can't lie. When I'm just like, you know what, I'm done. Like, I didn't want to do it anymore. But I guess having the people there for me that I loved really did help. And the the love for YouTube and everything else. And it's just... I, I'm trying to find a way to explain this. If you guys have a mental illness and you feel like you can just deal with it, don't. Because mental illnesses are not something that can be taken head on by yourself. You need people to be able to rely on. Whether it be family or friends or even just a therapist or, you know, somebody like that. It, you need help because there's something inside of your brain that's literally making you feel this way, which is where hormones and stuff comes in. If I remember right from what my doctor said, uh, depression can come from your body not producing enough. Oh, God, what hormone was it? I can't remember what it was. Uh, dopamine or something? I don't remember what it was, but my, my brain doesn't process and uh, like make enough of it. And, or my body doesn't make enough of it, so that's why depression is a thing for me. But I guess what I'm trying to say is maybe you can get a little bit of comfort knowing what's actually wrong instead of just staying blind the entire time. Go get help. There's suicide hotlines and everything everywhere. Come to me if you guys need help. I will message you back. I always message people back. And it's, I I want to be able to help as much as possible, but I'm not certified to help. So down in the description below, I will go ahead and leave some links to some organizations. If if you're going through something or you just need somebody to talk to, um, those will be down. And I'll also put a number down there as well. But I just want you guys to know that you're not alone in this fight. Millions of us suffer from the same thing. It's just a matter of pushing through that. Earlier today, it, it's kind of relevant. Earlier today, I said success is not your biggest achievement. Your biggest achievement is getting up on the days that you don't even want to move and continuing to push forward. That is your biggest achievement. There have been times where as much as I love YouTube and recording and editing and everything, I didn't want to do it at all. And I'm sure in some of my videos it's shown. And I don't mean it like that, but my love for it overpowered my unmotivation and depression and anxieties that were kicking in. Like, well, what if I do this video and this person doesn't like it? And I I can't tell you how many times I've been up late at night, just my legs shaking and my mind racing about, you know, what if my video, you know, upsets somebody or something like that. And it sucks. But it's all about having willpower and it's all about pushing through your life and helping yourself come to terms that you are important. Whether it's to yourself or family or friends or just a random stranger like myself. 
You are important and don't ever think you're not. It, oh, it just upsets me so much that the social, th that society thinks it, it, that it doesn't matter if you have depression or society is just so hateful against people who w willingly admit, yeah, I have depression. Because the next thing you know, you turn around and you're an attention whore or something like that. You're not. A lot of people don't realize that's you reaching out for help, but I see it. So once again, there will be links and phone numbers down in the comments or down in the description below. If you need anybody to talk to, but you don't want to do that, please message me, go to family, friends, somebody, and just know that you are important. And don't ever, ever think that you're not. But that's going to be it for this episode. I apologize for getting really feelsy really quickly, but I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was just going to be kind of like a horror act aspect. I've never seen the play, so I didn't know. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys like this video, figure that like button for me. And remember, when there's a shout, the monster's up. <laughs>